Hey everyone, I'm Janine Deeb here on day four of the LAPC, and we're on a break, and I am with Reverend Squeaky, aka Michael Winnet, in it to win it. How's everything going so far? Even better than the plan we had coming in. We had an excellent dream about Aces versus Ace King. First hand, boom, got it off, double up, already calling the plan. I wasn't planning to double up again until the next break, but luckily Matt Savage gave me a, a penalty right there, so I got to take a round break. Seize all the poker god energy again. Come right back, first hand, Ace King. Deuce, 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 Ace! Take him out again. Perfect timing, thanks to Matt Savage. Then I got to take my real break. I think that's the first time you'd say thanks to Matt Savage because last year you weren't too. Oh, whoa. this year I got all the chips. I got all the mojo. It's going to be really tough to defeat me and the poker gods. The kid, uh, Scott Clement, I know is a great player. He got all in with uh, race one, got all in with a flush draw one. So I knew if I got all in against him with a draw 50 50, I would definitely beat him. So they didn't think that I was capable. I king nine of spades in the big blind. Guy open, he flatted. I thought they both had full of nothing. Make a big re raise. Scott called in position, tried to outplay me. Flop came 8 7 6. I have open ended. Couldn't care less what he had. I bet 100 put me all in. Boom. Five ball. Ah! Now I got the chips. What they do you. They can't do anything now. What do you think players think of you? I mean, is this, is this why you do all this? Just because you want them to keep guessing? You know, the, the secrets of the Reverend are not for everyone. You know, you got to pay a lot of money for this. But. Most importantly, some people have to pay money, and they're all excited, and I'm excited. And uh, the bottom line is, at the end of the day, as I've said before, tournaments, you know, everyone can have their one time. So. Yeah, well, I guess you're looking for your one time. But first, I want to know what this book's all about. What is this? Uh, is book, this even a real book, or are you just carrying the book around? This, with is a, this is a real book. It's for Pilvich Eyes. Uh, it's the Poker Bible. You know, it has some steadfast three tenets. It has the seven commandments. It has some nice sermons. You know, and the important thing is to, to know what it all means. I can't really reveal all my secrets, but each of these pictures have a meaning, which we hope to reveal as we, the week progresses. And you also have a tombstone on your chair. Why and what is that? Uh, not a tombstone. You know, a lot of the, I, see, I see a lot of the players, they're using tablets. So Squeaky's an old-fashioned guy, so he brought his own type of tablet. You know, you just make sure that if they're allowed to use their tablets, I'm allowed to use my tablet. That's I just, your tablet with your commandments on it. All poker players are created equal, and so should their props. So can you tell me a little bit about yourself away from the poker table? Who away are you? From, well, away from the poker table is uh, not happening right now. Right now, Reverend Squeaky will have to, you know... So you're keeping it a secret from me. I'm not keeping it a secret for you. You know, it's just when Daniel Day-Lewis plays Abraham Lincoln... He's Mr. President, and when Reverend Squeak is playing in a poker tournament, he's communicating with the poker guys, and it's hard to, to go in and out from that. But as far as other people think of me, I mean, poker's an individual game. It doesn't really matter. You know, when I'm on the court, I'm Jordan. I'm ruthless. I'm going to beat anyone. You're in it to win it. I'm in it to win it. I'm going to take anyone out, and as anyone can clearly see, it's hard to be prettier than me. <laughs> see you guys. Good luck. For all of you at home, make sure you follow all the updates at WPT.com. Craziness.